So what is a food sales tax certificate and why do you need one as a food entrepreneur? Well, in this video, I'm gonna explain to you the necessity for you to have this. Otherwise, you're paying taxes twice. All right, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online. It is Dave Neverberti, founder and CEO of Marketing Food Online. We are in this video discussing sales tax certificates and why every single food entrepreneur, including you who are watching this video, need to have one. Otherwise, you're actually paying taxes twice on your food product. So Damien, I am not familiar with this. What exactly is a food sales certificate? There's actually several names and I'll cover them in this video. A food sales resale certificate, for instance, what does it do and why do I need one? Well, if you are purchasing ingredients to create a finalized product and you have vendors that you're buying them from and you're getting them at a wholesale pricing, you do not and should not be at least paying taxes on those ingredients when you buy them to create the final product. Because when you sell it as the manufacturer, producer, retailer, whatever you may wanna call yourself, after you have made a finalized product at the sale of the transaction to the customer, that is where you are actually going to collect the sales tax. Then you have to remit it to the state, whatever state that you may be in. It's Georgia, Florida, California, Utah, and so on. So those sales taxes that you collect within your state need to be remitted or submitted to your state as a sales tax. Now, this type of certificate doesn't cost you anything to get, but you need to make sure that you have it because you will present it to whoever it is that you're buying your products from. For instance, at one point, we were actually getting a lot of sugars and flour and other items from a local Walmart when we first started because I wasn't sure of where to source these products. So I actually went to Walmart, showed them the certificate. They issued me a card. So every time I go through and buy 20 pounds of flour and 50 pounds of sugar and so on, I was actually not being charged sales tax because I'm going to produce a cookie, I'm going to produce a cake, I'm going to produce cupcakes, whatever it may be, and then I'm going to sell it. And when I sell that, then I'm going to collect the sales tax on it. Now, there in every state, there may be a different name for how this is called, and I'm actually going to go through a couple of those different names. So a sales tax certificate, it can also be called a reseller number, a seller's permit, a resale certificate, <clears throat> excuse me, tax exemption certificate, a reseller's license, or a wholesale license. So there's about six different ways that it can actually be explained or have a different type of name to it. So check with your state as to what it is, but make sure you get it one. You can normally get it directly through your state's website, which doesn't take very long to do, but you definitely want to make sure that you are getting this because you are definitely double taxing yourself if you don't. Now, there's a little bit of misconception. I want to cover one more thing about sales tax certificates is that a sales tax ID and a sales tax certificate are the same. False, they are not the same. A lot of times people do, when they first start a business, a food business at least, because it's a little confusing, they get the two mixed up and think that it's actually the same. So a sales tax ID is actually the identification number that will allow you to collect sales tax on behalf of your state and then send it to them. A sales tax certificate is actually the certificate you need in order for you to not pay taxes on an ingredient when you buy it in order to produce a final product. Hopefully that makes sense and you follow that. <laughs> so the sales tax ID is actually the ID needed in order for you to remit or submit your taxes once you collect sales tax to the state. And then the sales tax certificate is simply a certificate, a piece of paper in essence is what it is. And that allows you to actually not pay the taxes on your ingredients. So I wanted to do this really quick video. We actually had a email from a, a subscriber on YouTube on our marketing food website. And uh, by the way, you wanna definitely check out our website. We have a ton of free resources and blogs, as well as other videos that you won't see here on YouTube. So definitely click that link down to marketingfoodonline.com. Yep, there's a link right there. And then that way you can definitely check out our, our channel and additional resources, including even our podcast. We have all kinds of resources, absolutely free. So make sure that you're not paying taxes twice on your product and make sure you get, it's very simple and easy, a sales tax certificate and sales tax ID. And those are not exactly the same thing as well either. So make sure you get those things, guys. It's gonna save you tax money. So I'll see you guys on our next video.